Hello, Ectosage here on the Sage Channel, and an update to end all updates came out today. The Factions update is finally live. Now this is, um, it's not the end-all be-all version of the Factions, they're still working on it, improving it, so there's some issues that I'll be showing you, but it does allow you to do a lot of the basic Space Engineers stuff and sort of segregate it between different people and different factions, which is pretty damn awesome. But first off, we're going to go to New World, Custom World, Creative, we'll call it the uh, Factions Update, and we'll go to Private, and we'll go to Advanced. Now, there's one new thing they've added in here, and that's right down here at the bottom right, it's Reset Ownership. When you download a world from the Steam Workshop, it is almost guaranteed to have some sort of ownership to it, even though a lot of them are, I believe, supposed to have reset to no ownership. Just to be sure, when you download one of those worlds, especially moving forward, because they might have very specific ownerships, go ahead and click this. This means the first time you load up this world, it'll reset the ownership of everything. So we don't really need that because we're creating a new world. I'm going to go ahead and change this stuff to my preferred setup. And now let's go ahead and uh, start the world up, shall we? Now right away, as soon as you're in-game, you'll notice that the beacon colors have changed to green. Now, this technically does mean that they are part of your faction, but these structures here are actually set to have nobody. They're not actually owned by anybody, which is a bit strange. I would have expected the not owned by anybody color to be maybe not green, but more of a yellow or something along those lines. But to check faction, you can go to the control panel on anything, and you click on an assembler platform object, anything with a computer component, which means when you were building it, there was a computer used, can have a faction set. And then if you look on the right side here, you'll see that the current ownership is nobody. And we can actually go to the, I believe it was called, what is this beacon called? Platform. So we can find in our control panel, we can go find platform, which is right there at the top. I'm terribly blind. And you see, we can set this to be owned by me. And of course, as soon as we do that, it changes to what looks like a white, but if we get really close to it, you can actually see it's got a tinge of blue to it. So if anything's by owned by you, it sort of has this bluish white glow to it. Now, if I was to set this to, let's say, my faction, so let's go back in there and actually to do that, we're gonna need a faction, won't we? So let's go to the factions tab at the far right here. And you can do this from either in there or just pressing K or I anywhere to get up your menu. Go to the factions and you see all factions in the current world listed here and there currently isn't any. So let's go ahead and create one. Let's say Heralds of Convergence. And of course your tag name, by the way, can only be three letters long or else I'd probably just name it Sage. So there you go. You get your public info and your private info. And these pretty much don't have any limit to it. You can keep on going forever and ever and ever ever with these. And I'm pretty sure the same pretty much goes for this, but oh wait, no, that does have a limit. So name has a limit, but the other two don't. So let's go ahead and uh, say okay to that. So we have our wonderfully screwy name, but at the beacon name, if you can see that it's now changed to HOC for Heralds of Convergence, platform. Because platform, of course, is still the name of the beacon. Now, the thing is that beacon is not owned by my faction. It's owned by me. So that's a bit strange that it's showing Heralds of Convergence platform, even though it's owned by me and not my faction. But we can switch it over to be owned by the faction by clicking on the platform again there. And we can say ownership, yeah, yeah, me, but let's go ahead and share it with my faction. So now, anybody in my faction will be able to access that. And actually, it doesn't seem to have applied the color I expected. Okay, so even though it's shared with my faction, because it actually belongs to me, it stays that color. If, let's say, I had a friend who did that exact same thing, it belonged to them, and then they shared it with the same faction I'm in, it would show up green to me because I don't own it, but it shows up that bluish white because I own it personally. Otherwise, it would show up green like the not owned by anybody thinks. Let's also go in there and look at another thing, which is the possibility to have these shared with all so you can own it but then you can share it with all that way anybody you running around can access it not just the people in your faction now let's go back and look at factions again really quickly if we go into the factions tab you can see the heralds of convergence the basic setups and now you can see right here it shows the members list there's actually three ranks there's the founder whoever originally created the faction and then there's a leader and a member now to add more people to this you can't actually just go ahead and click add they would have to open up their factions tab Look at the listing of factions here on the left, finders, click on it, and that's where they'll have different buttons down here at the bottom. They won't have leave, they'll have join. So they'll click that, it'll be set so when a founder such as myself or a leader such as anybody who's been promoted to that rank looks at their 
faction again, they'll have an option there to accept an invite. So their name will show up here. They'll click on the name and then they'll click accept on the right there. Or of course, then they could click promote and that person could be promoted up to a leader who can also accept people into the group. Now, if you decide you no longer want to be part of this faction, but you don't want to disband it, what you can do is just click leave down there at the bottom left, and whoever else is in the faction will remain there. Just make sure you've promoted somebody to a leader. Otherwise, everyone in there, if they're all members, they will not actually be able to invite any or accept anybody new into the faction, meaning the faction is going to stagnate. Now, what you can do, though, if you do just want to get rid of everyone and get rid of the faction altogether, is you simply click through each person at the bottom right here, and you would click the kick button to the right of those members, and it would get rid of them. And then, once you're the only person in here, you click leave. There is no longer a Heralds of Convergence. There is no longer your faction. And you can see the platform icon up there. It's your turn just to platform. Now, another thing I have noticed with this, which is absolutely terrifying, is turrets don't seem to care at all about factions. So let's go ahead and go in here and prepare your ears. You're about to hear something crazy here. I'm going to do a control A to select everything here because you can now do that. And I'm going to select, select the ownership to me. Instantly we have trouble. Even though all of this stuff is set to owned by nobody, which means the beacon was actually, the beacon was set to me, but everything else here is set owned by nobody. These turrets, because I own them, suddenly go insane and shoot up stuff that's not owned by anybody. You can see they're sort of taking targets here of taking out the cockpits and other important systems first. Very, very odd. Now you might say, okay, well, at least all that's owned by you, right? If we copy this ship and post paste it elsewhere, we won't have issue with that. Well, we will. Also, by the way, check this out. The normal rotation tools for rotating blocks now work with these. So you can rotate whatever you're copying and pasting around. So let's go ahead and post that ship up there. Oh look! They're shooting at each other. How beautiful. So for some reason, turrets don't seem to understand this whole ownership thing. As you can see, both these ships are that slight blue, which means they're owned by me. They're ignoring it. By the way, the other color coding that may be important to you would be red. And also white. White means that somebody is in a allied faction. And to have an allied faction, let's get away from all that noise, shall we? So I can just explain this. Alrighty, to have an allied faction, You'd go into your factions, you'd of course have your faction here, and we don't really need to worry about naming it, do we? And so you have your faction, and there'd be another faction here. What you would do is click on the other faction and click Propose Peace. The second you click that Propose Peace button there at the bottom left, next to your faction in the factions list here at the far right of that little screen there on the left, a little flag will show up. And this is only visible really to the other team, to the faction you're wanting to ally with. If they click that flag, they can then ally. And so anytime you're in your faction, somebody else from the other faction is drifting by, they, well, on your screen, their icons will show up as white to you. Their characters and their actual ship beacons will all show up as white, indicating that they are an allied faction. They're not part of your faction, they're part of an ally's faction. So that's white. Really quickly, I'm going to go over the colors again because I personally had a little trouble getting the proper grasp on this. So, First off, we have green right in front of me. This basically means neutral, nobody owns this. Nobody at all owns this, or it's owned by your faction. So if you see a green ship like this drifting by, it's either owned by no one, such as this ship. So if I was to pop into the control panel here, go into the actual control panel, you can see on the right there, all of this stuff is set to be owned by nobody. Now, if it was owned by somebody, you would notice that beneath that area here, where it would say probably owner name, Jimmy Bob, and then shared, it would be shared with my faction. So you'd be able to see who owns it, and obviously they're sharing it with your faction because the name here for the beacon would be green, meaning part of your faction. Now, of course, if the name was this bluish white, that would mean it was actually owned by you. You personally built it. As for anything red, that means it's owned by an enemy faction or just according to at least the developer video unaligned, which is what I would expect this to be colored, but for some reason it isn't. So they say red is supposed to be unaligned or enemy. I don't know. 
I guess when they say unaligned, they just mean a faction that's not aligned with anybody yet. But bit strange, bit odd. Maybe it only applies to characters that currently are not aligned with a faction. They show up as red, whereas ships, they don't. They're just green because they don't belong to anybody. And then, of course, we have white, which is another faction, as I was just talking about a minute ago, that is allied with you, which, of course, means... Basically the exact same thing as green, except for they're not actually in your faction. They're in an allied faction, which could at any point decide they don't want to be friends with you simply by going back into the factions tab, selecting the faction, your faction, and clicking the declare war button at the bottom left there that says declare war, and instantly the two factions will be at war again. And your turrets, if they weren't already dead set on shooting everything, would begin shooting one another. So for right now, just be aware, don't use turrets. They seem like they're just dead set on killing each other. Um, no matter what, it, they don't make any sense at all to me. I think it's a little glitch, but remember, this is the first pass at factions. Anyway, I think that's it. Again, remember when you're downloading worlds from the workshop, be warned, sometimes, or probably always, you're going to need to have the factions reset. Uh, when you're building in creative, automatically, when you put a new block down, its faction is set to be no one. So if we were to hop in here, and look at the small reactor we just put in. You can see its faction is set to nobody. Whereas when you're building in survival mode, the second you get done with the layer that actually has the computers in it. So if I was to look at here, at the right side of my screen there, you can see it drops down. There's 25 computers there. There we go, it's dropped below that. The second you're building something in survival, the second that computer layer is finished, which is actually indicated by that bluish pink line there on the left, the bar that builds up, that completion point, the second that's reached, it determines who owns this object. So really, if you wanted to hack somebody's ship, you wouldn't necessarily have to blow their whole ship up, you just have to get to whatever system you want to take over, grind it down past that point, and then grind it, or weld it back together, ta-da, you now own that piece. Of course, you wouldn't be able to access anything else on the ship, because each individual block is actually owned by a specific person, and possibly shared with their faction. Also be aware if you are using a construction ship of some kind, the ownership of whatever it's building will be determined by the ownership of the actual welder. So let's say you have a construction ship that grinds something down, to, let's say you're hacking something, you grind something down below that computer point and then you use the welder on the same ship to build it back up, but that welder is actually owned by your friend, maybe a friend that isn't even allied with you. All of a sudden, whatever you just built, you cannot access because it's not owned by you. Anyway, that's it, guys. I think I've covered pretty much everything. I highly suggest that you actually click the annotation that should have just popped up on your screen. It takes you to the Keen Software House tutorial video on this update. Keen Software House being the guys who actually built the game. Their update video for this update in particular is very good. It goes over pretty much everything. So if I missed anything, it's probably covered there. The only thing they didn't really cover was the turrets. Yeah, they, they didn't really cover those crazy turrets killing you. Or at least killing your own stuff. Oh, and also, uh, remember doors? The buttons on doors, they were tiny. They're bigger now. They're back to normal. Figured that was a glitch. Anyway, that's it. Thanks a bunch for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.